I'm not even surprised that the, the Minister of Social Development, Lindy Wezulu, is under fire after saying the Johannesburg CBD fire is a result of apartheid, guys. That's what she said, man. You know, guys, I spent the whole night trying to make sense of what Lindy Wezulu said. Lindy Wezulu says, whether we like it or not, what happened in Johannesburg is a result of apartheid. All right, so if you don't know what Lindy Wezulu is talking about, a few days back, a building in Johannesburg, a hijacked building in Johannesburg that is turned into an informal settlement, it caught fire and over 70 people lost their lives. Over 40 people were injured in that whole ordeal. We saw politicians reacting and that was the most awkward reaction that, that came from politicians because if there's one thing I can really say about the reaction from the president and from the mayor of Johannesburg is that no one wants to take accountability for anything that took place there in Johannesburg. The mayor is blaming the NGOs and these human rights lawyers for, for, for actually making him making it hard for him to do the work. You saw the president saying it is all our responsibility as if all of us are in government making this stupid and hilarious legislations and and the one person that really caught people's attention is Herman Mashaba because Herman Mashaba went out there and blamed the ANC and blamed the Democratic Alliance for, for, for stopping him when he wanted to, to focus on this thing of hijacked buildings in Johannesburg. I mean, according to Herman Mashaba, over 600 buildings in Johannesburg are being hijacked as we speak right now. The whole Johannesburg CBD is being hijacked as we speak right now. And no one is taking any accountability for it. Everyone is trying to pass the buck to someone. Everyone is trying to pass the buck to someone. So the Minister of Social Development went there yesterday and she said one of the most craziest things ever. Because, because Lindy Azulu believes that all of these things that are happening, it is a result of apartheid. That's what she said. That's what she said, guys. How insane is it? Lindy Wezulu believes that what happened in Johannesburg CBD fire is a result of apartheid. That's what this woman, that's what she said. That's what she said. The ANC is not responsible. The DA is not responsible. The EFF is not responsible. No one is responsible. It, like the apartheid is the one that is responsible. And you wonder why people are so mad at the ANC. This is the reason why a lot of people are so mad at the African National Congress, man. Unfortunately for us, whether we like it or not, this is the result of apartheid that kept people under such uh, conditions and we are expected to have changed those conditions within the 30 years. Unfortunately for us, whether we like it or not, this is the result of apartheid that kept people under such uh, conditions and we are expected to have changed those conditions within the 30 years. So the Minister of Social Development, like, so you want 100 years to fix everything. So the ANC wants 100 years to fix everything. 30 years is not enough. 30 years is not enough for the ANC to deal with these things. It's not enough. According to the Minister of Social Development, 30 years, it's, it, 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 it's such a small time for the African National Congress to deal with the issue of hijacked buildings in the middle of Johannesburg. That's what she said, guys. That's what she said. That's what she's, I mean, like, guys, this is exactly why people are so mad at the African National Congress right now. Because some of these things that they say, they make people so mad. They make people so mad. So if, it's, if it's, this is the result of apartheid, what, what, has the, what, what has the ANC government did in, te, in 30 years? What has the ANC government done in 30 years? To reverse everything that you're talking about because guys when when Lindu Zulu said that this is the result of apartheid I, I, I had to think about it because I was like the apartheid government was tough on borders the apartheid government was tough on law was tough on borders I mean like guys there is no way an apartheid government would have allowed illegal immigrants to hijack a building in the middle of the city man we know that we, I know that we want to blame apartheid for a lot of these things that are taking place in South Africa, but there is no way an apartheid regime would have allowed illegal immigrants to hijack a building in the middle of the city. There was no way, man. There was no way. So, guys, how is this the fault of apartheid? How is this the fault of apartheid? And she says that people are expecting ANC to fix everything in 30 years, as if she's talking about 30, 30 days. 30 years, guys. 30 fucking years. Not 30 days, 30 fucking years. 
So everything that is happening right now in South Africa, according to the minister Lindwe Zuri right here, everything that is wrong right now in South Africa, it's supposed to be like that because 30 years is such a small time for the ANC to deal with everything. 30 years is such a small time. Guys, I'm 30 years old right now as we speak. I am 30 years old right now as we speak. <laughs> Guys, how is it possible for, for, for people to go out there and say some of these things, man? This reeks of ignorance. It reeks of ignorance. And clearly, they don't want to take any accountability, man. They don't want to take any accountability. You have to remember, like tomorrow, these guys, the African National Congress will be in Dobsonville telling the people that the ANC is there. The ANC will do things different. This time, the ANC will take accountability. The ANC is going to take people to jail. The ANC is going to be tough on crime and all of these things. But today... Today, the Minister of Social Development says that it has nothing to do with the ANC. The ANC were, were only given this small amount of time, 30 years. 30 years is such a small, small amount of time to fix everything in South Africa. And, 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 and it's unfair for you guys to, be, to expect the ANC to fix everything in 30 years. The Minister believes that it's unfair for you guys to, to, to expect the African National Congress to fix everything in 30 years. I mean, guys, come on. You cannot expect ANC to fix the potholes in 30 years. At least give them 100 years. At least, at least, at least, like Lin is is, is is being honest with us. Because it's, it's going to take 100 years for, for ANC to do a fraction of these things. It's going to take 120 years for ANC to fix a fraction of these issues that are plaguing South Africa today. So if this is not, a, like, guys, a, a, my mind, my, like, I, I cannot I, I cannot make sense of what she said. I simply cannot make sense of what she said. This is exactly why South Africans are so mad at the African National Congress. And people like Lindy Azul are not supposed to be out there talking on behalf of the ANC because they are giving an ANC the bad name. The president today is out there with the, with, with the media guys answering the questions. The president today is answering the questions with the media. Tomorrow, the ANC will be in Dobsonville talking about reviewing the manifesto. But this person is out here telling the people that 30 years is a small time for the ANC to fix everything in South Africa. Man. Are, you guys, are you guys outraged as I am right now? Are you mad as I am right now? Because I'm furious, man. I'm furious. So the ANC has made it okay. For people to come into our cities to hijack our cities only for them to blame the apartheid government they've created a situation that allows people to come into south africa to hijack buildings in in front of the in the middle of the city guys this happened in the middle of the city and you think about the fact that students in south africa they are struggling with accommodation in johannesburg people are struggling with affordable accommodation in johannesburg but most of these buildings are hijacked and people are making illicit, illicit money out of those buildings. People are collecting rents there. People are building informal settlements in, like right in front, right in the middle of the city. People are building informal settlements in the buildings right in the center of the city. People are like, they have managed to allow a situation where people come to turn our buildings in the middle of the city into informal settlements. And when something like this happens, they are blaming the apartheid government. So how long, guys? How long? How many years? How many years? Look at this woman here. You, man, you, you, you can see she's looking down, man. She's feeling ashamed of Lindu Zulu right now. Lindu Zulu should be ashamed of herself right now. She should be ashamed of herself right now. And these politicians acting like, ah, oh, guys, we cannot allow something like this to happen again. It is going to happen again, man. It is going to happen again. I'm not wishing anything bad to happen to people, but it is going to happen again. Because a lot of these buildings are hijacked. A lot of these buildings are turned into informal settlements. So what happened in Johannesburg, it is going to happen again. That's what I can tell you. 
So it makes me so mad when politicians walk around saying that we cannot allow this situation to happen again. What do you mean you cannot allow this situation to happen again? It is going to happen again. You are allowing the situation to happen again. Because if this if these guys were serious about actually combating this issue from yesterday or from two days back, they would have made sure that we've identified all the buildings that are hijacked and we are making sure that we are doing something about it. But they don't do anything about that. Heman Mashaba has a list of these buildings that are hijacked in Johannesburg. Because we know that the ANC is lazy to do the work. So they, they might as well give him and Mashaba a call and ask him and Mashaba to give them a list of these hijacked buildings in the middle of the city. So they are walking around saying that we cannot allow something like this to happen again. Guys, it is going to happen again. That's what I can tell you. It is going to happen as long as the ANC has such representatives, such an unhinged representative. It is going to happen again. South Africa right now is disgusted with these women. People are disgusted with Lindwe Zulu right now. People are so disgusted with, the, with Lindwe Zulu right now. Because no one wants to take accountability, man. No one wants to take accountability. The, the, the ANC tells us the DA is running things. The DA tells us the ANC is in the national government. The, the, the mayor of Johannesburg is telling us about the NGOs. No one wants to take accountability. Guys, it's been days. 70 people have died in South Africa and 40, 40 people have lost their lives. It's been days right, right now and no one has been held accountable because everyone is running away from accountability. People are literally running away from accountability. We have to say shout out to him and Mashaba, man. Shout out to him and Mashaba for actually holding these people's feet to fire, man. Him and Mashaba did not hold back and tell them that the African National Congress and the DA, they plotted against me when I wanted to, 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 to fix this thing of, of hijacked buildings in the middle of the city, man. Shout out to him and Mashaba, man. And, and, and speaking about him and Mashaba, you remember there was an expose that him and Mashaba did with, with the CNN about these buildings. They are going to show us how these buildings are inside. And please tell me that, please tell me if you believe that this thing will never happen again. Well, I want to take you back to 2017 when I visited a hijacked building in Johannesburg, similar to the one that burned down today. I was joined by the city's then mayor, Herman Mashaba, during a police raid on the complex. The living conditions there were absolutely dire, made worse by unregulated construction. Here is what I saw. Look at these informal structures that have been built within the building itself. Each one of these houses, an entire family, there's no running water. There are just cable wires running through for electricity. Um, it's very, it's, it's crazy. It's, it's like an informal settlement within a, a building. Just look at that, guys. And just to show you how small it is, I mean, just these informal structures that have been put together. Really small. And, and stuffy. I mean, there's absolutely no ventilation in here. There's no, there's no sun, there's no ventilation. The conditions are, are very extreme. And guys, our politicians, they act like they don't know these things, man. I've heard the mayor of Johannesburg speaking about we are now working on two buildings. Man, him and Mashaba said 600 buildings. And the mayor of Johannesburg is telling us that they are working on two buildings. Two! Two! These people, they know this is what's happening in Johannesburg. They know. They know that this is exactly what's happening in Johannesburg. And they say that we, we must make sure that something like this never happens again. How? How? How are they going to make sure that something like this never happens again? How are they going to make sure that people never die due to these informal settlements that, that are built inside these hijacked buildings? Man, these people, man, come on, guys. We really have to be serious right now. South Africans really have to be serious right now, man. And the thing that really annoyed me is that no one takes an accountability. No one wants to be held accountable, man. No one wants to be held accountable. It was so crazy because the president said it is all our responsibility. And I'm like, come on, president. You are the president of the country, man. You can deal with these things. You can deal with these things. Ramaphosa likes walking around, acting like he can't do nothing in this country. 
even with Jacob Zuma, people had to remind him that Ramaphosa, you have the power to pardon Jacob Zuma so that you can save the country. You have the power to, to pardon Jacob Zuma. If it was according to Ramaphosa, Ramaphosa would have allowed Jacob Zuma to, to, to go to jail and allowed the malls to be looted and burned down. Because that's what he does. He goes around acting like he doesn't have any power on any of these things, man. It was a harrowing experience. Um, one that will stay with me forever. I, I'm joined. Seriously, guys. This is what's happening right now. And these people are acting like... Hmm. Come on, man. Because right now, Lindu Zuluman is just Lindu Zuluman is, ju is just insulting South Africans right now. You are simply you are simply insulting our intelligence right now. You are simply insulting our intelligence right now. So how long will this ANC guys keep blaming apartheid for everything that is wrong in the country? How 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 long will the ANC keep blaming apartheid for some of these things that they themselves have the power to deal with? The ANC has the power to deal with this thing of, of, of hijacked buildings in the middle of the city. The ANC has power, man. The ANC has power to deal with these pit pilots that are killing kids in rural schools. The ANC has power to deal with that. The ANC has power to deal with, with, with potholes. They have power to deal with, with, with our ailing healthcare system. Man, these people, they have power to deal with these things, man. But people like Lindwe Zulu, she just enjoys being a minister. She doesn't want to do anything. She just wants to be a pretty minister with her gold hair. That's what she wants. She wants to walk around parading her gold hair without being held accountable for anything. That's what she wants. Because what's the point of these guys being in the office if everything that, that's happening right now is the fault of apartheid, man? Lindwe Zulu is, is talking like the apartheid government took these people and stuffed them there in that building. She's speaking like the apartheid government is stuffed people in that building. And we know that there is no fucking way. There is no way that the apartheid government would have allowed this. There is no way. You can't fool us. We are not stupid, man. There was no way apartheid government would allow a situation where illegal foreigners are hijacking a building in the middle of the city. There was no way, man. So how can you, how can you honestly blame apartheid for this thing? How can you honestly blame apartheid for this thing, man? No, come on, guys. No, come on, guys. Please, guys, please, 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 guys. Please tell me what you think on the comment section. And hit that like button, guys. Please make sure that you hit like, that like button so that we can make our voices hair bigger. And the most important part, guys, please subscribe and subscribe and subscribe. My name is Thomas Mabaso, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.